Hey everyone! Today I'm gonna show you how to do these nail decal applications. And first off, let me show you the nail polish I'm using. It's this Chocolate Brown by Lorac. It's their color 502. And these are the decals. It's by brand Many Love. I received these as a gift on a purchase I did at a nail stamping store. And I'm gonna use the toast and this little cup. I wanted a breakfast theme. There's others that work, like this cup, the donut, and like the milk. But I ended up picking these two. And I picked the cup because I thought, oh, brown and coffee is gonna match. But then I saw there was something like hanging from the cup. So it's actually a teacup and not a coffee cup, but all good. And this is the white polish I'm using because for these decals, you need a clear base underneath. Otherwise you can't see the designs. And today we are not starting with the cleanup. I already took off the polish I had before and already prepped my nails. So we're straight off onto base coat. Like some other videos, I'm using the Owned Peel Off Base Coat, which makes removal easier. Since I do my nails very frequently, I prefer to use the Peel Off because it's easier for me than using acetone or polish remover. Since I usually use my manicures for only a couple of days, this is much easier and more practical for me. And like my other videos, I'll be showing one nail at normal speed and the other parts are sped up times five. I like having the real time because I think it sets a good expectation, especially for the parts like applying decals or applying nail stamping, because if you wanna do it yourself, you have an idea how long it takes like a real expectation that is not the sped up video. And here I'm doing two coats because when I read the instructions from Owned, they actually recommend doing two coats to make the removal easier. But I didn't see much difference, to be honest, when I removed this manicure. Now checking if we have our base coat dry and we're gonna do application. This is the first and only polish I tried from this brand. I really like their formula, I like their brush, I like how it applies. Two coats is more than great for it. But I mentioned in my other video where I used this same polish on my encapsulated glitter video. The only thing I don't like is the lid, the cap. It has like this little bow and it gets super in the way. It's very non-ergonomic, so not a big fan. And the way I apply, I try my best to avoid the corners of my nails because I want to get as little as cleanup done as possible. Here in Brazil, people usually clean up using the stick and some cotton on it, but I'm not very good at that. I'm practicing to be better at it, but right now it takes too long. As I mentioned, I do my nails a lot, so for me it's much more practical to just do the precision brush and some acetone later on and just avoiding the corners altogether. That's what works best for me. It doesn't look as good as some other Brazilian nails. I recommend you guys watching if you haven't. People usually just paint it all over and then clean up with a stick. It's a better application, but again, I'm not very good at it. And now onto the second coat, I'm always sealing the tip, wrapping the tip. Each nail I do, I do a little painting on the tip. This helps the polish to last longer. On my first coat on the thumb, I removed a bit when I did that. So, so here on the second coat, I'm being a bit more careful to not let that happen again.
and now some cleanup with the steel stick. This already helps with the cleanup later on and this is good to do as soon as you do the nail polish because if it dries it can pull a bit on the polish and it won't look as good. And here's the precision brush I'm using for the cleanup. As I mentioned, I prefer then using a stick and cotton, but whoever prefers it can do the same. I prefer the brush, but one thing to be mindful is the brush is less pressure than doing the cotton and the stick. So you need to make sure you have a firmer brush, like the bristles are a little more resistant, because otherwise it won't clean up like you want. So that's one thing, it takes a bit longer with the brush because it's a bit lighter than using a stick and cotton and acetone. But I prefer it for me, it's better. Sometimes the cotton gets in the way for me, so the brush is better. And now onto the decals. This is a breakfast food kawaii themed sheet of decals that I received from a store here where I bought some nail stamping items. So first thing we're gonna cut off the designs and then put in some water. Here are the instructions, they are in Portuguese, so sorry. But the first thing it says is that you have to apply on top of light colors or white. So that's why I have the white polish separated there because I'm gonna do kind of a blob on the nails I wanna apply the decals on. Because over the brown, it would not show up because it's too dark. And this is just like a organic blob. It's not meant to be anything perfect. It's just like a stain on the nail, kind of like the spilled milk from the breakfast. <laughs> and I'm using also these quick dry drops because since I did a very thick, coat of the white. I didn't want to risk it uh, smudging it when I applied the decal. So to help out with drying it faster, I'm using these quick dry drops. On the thumb, I did a very thick coat. This was my mistake on the application. I wouldn't recommend the polish is also a bit thicker, so that kind of got in the way as well. The top coat helps to fill out the gaps from that big blob, but still not ideal. I should have done like a, a lighter coat of the white. And this is the water I'm gonna use. We don't need like a full cup. I just do a lid from like a water bottle or something. And I cut very close to the design. I found this is better if I cut like a square. The edges that are too far away from the design could get in the way when you apply it. So I try to cut very close to it. The instructions here say to leave for about five seconds on the water and then apply on the nail. And one thing I don't recommend doing like I did is trying to remove the decal with like the tweezers or removing with your fingers and then applying. This is what I did the first time I tried these decals and it worked well, but on the second attempt, it did not work at all. I'll link you guys down below in the description an Instagram post where they did a much better technique where they just remove the decals from the water and apply directly on the nail and then just drag the paper off of it. I think that works much better than what I did. Uh, trying to remove with the tweezers or with the fingers, the decal can like fold on itself because it's a very thin plastic. And once it does that, it's really hard to recover from it and it makes the application much harder. 
So I definitely want to try in the future this technique I saw on Instagram because I think it's much better. So definitely recommend. And here you can also see why it needs to be like the white or a lighter color polish because we'll see some parts apply over the brown and you cannot see the design at all because it's too dark. And here I'm just pushing down the design a bit with the steel stick because when I apply the top coat, I don't want to risk it dragging it with the brush and taking off the decal from the nail. And onto the thumb, the little toast with some butter on it. Again, five seconds on the water. And you can see now the really thick layer of white polish I did on my thumb there. Looks really bad again error in my application. In this uh, toast design, that was one that did what I mentioned, it folded on itself. And you will see me struggling a lot with the stick, with the tweezers, trying to like recover from it. On the next one, definitely lesson learned, will not do that. Something nice from the decals that I thought in comparison to like nail stamping, which I do a lot, you have a lot more time, a lot more leeway than with nail stamping. With nail stamping, you have very restricted timing there between applying the polish, scraping, and picking it up with a stamper. Whereas the decal is much more forgiving. You can see I'm struggling a bunch there trying to unfold it and it will apply just fine. The timing didn't affect it at all. And I think it looks just as nice. The design looks perfect, the same way as the stamping does. The only limitation is you gotta do a lighter polish under it. I don't know if there are decals that are lighter so you can do over darker polish, I'm not sure, maybe. But it's still a very good option as opposed to like stamping, I think it's much easier and much more forgiving. If you don't mess up the application like I did. <laughs> For the finishing, I'm using Colorama's top coat, is a gel effect top coat. And one tip here that I saw online that I thought was pretty cool, this top coat is gel effect, is not actually gel. And one way to tell is if the, if the nail polish bottle is clear, it means it's not gel because gel needs an opaque bottle, otherwise it will cure, right, on the sunlight. So that's a good tip I found now that brands are using like this gel effect branding. And here you can see that my huge white blob dragged a bunch. <laughs> it was so disappointing. I tried to save it, but I only dragged it more. But I'll show you guys in the end, I couldn't handle this blob like staining my nail. So I just went back in with the brown and I applied it over the stains. Since the blob was kind of organic, even though I went over it with the brown, it was fine because it was very organic design. And here's how the little cup looks. and now the dragged thumb. And here's a comparison there after I tried to save it. I basically went in again with the brown and I think it looked just fine. You can't barely tell. All things considered, I'm still very happy with this results. I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes there with nail decal applications. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.